Here I have this Amazon package. It's in one of their foil envelopes. There's a couple items inside, so I'm just going to pull out one right now. And this is a Kunzluk multifunctional cooling stand for the PS VR2 and PS5. So you can see the PS5 sits here. Then you've got uh, racks for the handles and the headbands for the VR. And you also have controller uh, spots over here for the controllers. Looks like it also has some USB ports right here. So we'll open it up and take a look inside. If I can get the box open. There we go. Looks like we've got some cap covers for the eye oculars. It's a Velcro strap here. Got a small instruction manual, assembly instructions. So the base here, it does have two USB plugs that come out of it. These are gonna be for your hand controllers for the VR system. And then here you have two PS5 controller chargers. like this is part of the stand. <clears throat> and then this looks like it's kind of a rack to hold games on the side here. So let's look at the instructions and see where everything goes. So it looks like Yeah, I'm still not even sure how this goes. I think these are the supporting rails. got really small font so I'm gonna need to get my reading glasses but there shows the instructions of putting at least this part which is the holds the games and then this is the overall schematic I have the arm here which is this it looks like it's two pieces that get put together and that's gonna hold the VR uh, head Oops, let me make sure. I'm assuming those both go on the outside or inside. So yeah, these hooks go on the inside together. I'm just going to push that together. And then this is going to go in here. And then it has a little schematic that tells you what each of the things on here do. So... We'll go ahead and set this up and tell you what, you what we think about it. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoy this video. Okay, so I'm showing basically putting this part together with the PlayStation 5, which I have sitting here. I also have a controller. Um, these parts here is for the, um, the VR, the virtual reality glasses, which I don't have the VR system for this. So right now these aren't, uh, I'm not able to use these, but if I had the VR system, this would cover the, the lenses. And then this is just a, looks like a strap to strap the um, wires together. <clears throat> this is the game console, or not the game console, but the, um, holds the, um, the discs. And it's, they have, it comes like this and you have to assemble it. And these are the, the numbered pieces. Looking at the diagram, the larger one goes to the top and the smaller one goes to the bottom which I think this is number three and this is number four and they just basically snap snap in that's number four yeah four goes down below oh four goes down below yep okay so I guess the larger one goes on the bottom which makes sense number four so they just snap in pretty easily
<laughs> well, I said it was easier, but you don't have it you're at a weird, yeah, it's at a kind of a weird angle. I gotta get, there we go. Gotta get it just right. I don't know if you just heard it, but it, you can just yeah. hear it snap. Yep. Yeah. And then. There we go. And then this whole thing will hang on the side of the PlayStation like that. And then you put your disc books. And how here. many does that hold? Uh, it holds eight. One, eight. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of them. So, so it holds the, eight games. Yeah, so the, basically the top eight that you play all the time, you would probably put on here so you have quick access to them. So I'll set that aside now. And then the rest of this is, uh, there's the fan here that the PlayStation will sit on and there's a fixing screw for the base. So you don't use the um, base uh, that comes with the PlayStation. Um, you'll use this screw instead to affix the PlayStation to the cooling base. And then, of course, these fans you can control through here to uh, cool the PlayStation down. And then it's got these uh, little plug-in magnetic charging things. And they're basically for the um, controller. And so you'll have to take one of these and you slip it into the controller like that. And then you can set this on there like that and it'll connect with the little magnet controller down here or the magnet thing down there and it'll that way it'll charge the uh, controllers and you've got two of those and then over here if you if the if you have if i have the vr which i don't have the virtual reality but if, if i did then the controllers again you would put one of these in each of the controller slots and they go here and so there are enough um Looks like one, two, three. There's enough to do all those, and it looks like an extra one. So that's kind of cool that they give you an extra one. And then this here is actually, if I had the, the uh, media remote, which I don't, the media remote will sit right in here. So it's got place for that to uh, sit as well. And then this is for the VR part. Again, uh, you can hang the, the goggle part here, and then it's got these hooks as well. I don't have the VR, but I do have a headset. And so the headset, I'll rest the headset here instead and use it for that. And the last thing I want to mention is I have an external um, disc that I keep my PS4 games on this on and, and the, that uh, disc plugs into the back here. This thing has two USB um, connectors and it'll take each of one of these. And then on the front, it has two uh, USB-A and one C type. And I'm not sure, I'm hoping that one of these, I'll be able to plug my external uh, backup drive into one of these and it'll still operate correctly. Uh, if it doesn't, then I will have to see if I can get it to work on one of the front um, ports. If it doesn't work on one of the front ports, then I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this completely because I won't be able to have my backup drive plugged into this, which means I may have to pl unplug one of these and see if, how much of it still works. But I'm hoping it'll it'll work just uh, just fine. So take the PlayStation and set it on there like that. Flip this upside down. Put the fixing screw in. And it doesn't have to be tightened super tight, so I'm just going to do it by hand until it gets down in there all the way. It's a very long screw. It takes a while. Almost done. Longer than I thought it was. Almost done. And that's good right there. So now this is affixed. And I can flip this back over like so. And attach the 
two to the back here. Like that we have we have new kittens, so <laughs> you can probably hear them meowing in the background. And let's see if I can get this one to go on there. There we go. And so both of those plug in there. And then that's pretty much it. And then, like I said, these will sit here to charge. Then this will hang on the side of the PlayStation like that. So that's pretty much it. <coughs> now I noticed the, the hooks for that storage thing are on the inside. Is that going to be okay? These? Yeah, or should it? I don't... Oh, you're, you have headset there. So you yeah, don't I'm going to have a headset okay. here. And this is probably to wrap the cord. Oh, okay. Would be my guess because the virtual reality headset will have has a cord, hmm. and I'm guessing that's what these are for is to wrap the cord on, um, or to hang something else. But uh, I don't know if this will. I'm guessing it'll go the other way. Yeah, it'll go the other way. So, either way, um, okay. I guess whichever is the easiest or makes the most sense. And then this is the control panel here. So I will put it uh, actually hook the PlayStation back up and find out whether or not I can use the external drive on one of these ports here and uh if i can and it works just fine then i'm not gonna um adent, uh, add to this video because there's no reason to it means it works if they don't work for some reason and i can't figure out how to get the external drive to work then i'll uh, add a caveat to this video explaining that so there you go thanks for watching